we'll start the class. We'll go over the eight postures for Bagua, Jiang style Bagua. These have various names. Uh, I'll use the uh, animal names for them. Um, if I, uh, as I go through them, I'll try and give you some of the alternate names as well. But um, there are eight postures. This is uh, part of the uh, warm up training, um, but it's also part of the fundamental uh, development uh, cultivation aspect of Bagua. So we're walking in a circle. We're walking in one of uh, eight different postures and the transitions are short little sequences which uh, start to train some of the fundamental techniques. So, if this is, uh, when we go through the circle, we'll go starting going counterclockwise first because of the limitations of the uh, filming, the circles on this example will be a little bit smaller. But the first posture is the bear posture or double hands pressing downwards posture here keeping the body upright and the shoulders and elbows set down, extending to the palms. The walking, especially for Jiang style, is just a simple relaxed walk, depending on the style that will vary. For the turn, in this warm up, the outside foot steps and turns in. The other foot will step onto the circle line. For the bear, the hands come in front of the shoulders and press down. Lift the knee, turn into the circle, set the heel down, walking back the other way. Outside foot steps in, open the hands, step and press down. Lift the foot and set. One more time. Both sides. Open, press, lift, set. Transition into the next move. Open, press. From here, step through, embracing the moon or crab posture. Stepping through. Open, very similar, but pressing at shoulder height here. Weight stays set back set into the hip so that the knee doesn't go forward and off to the side, needs to be held in for both of those, all of these postures at the end posture. Lift the knee, turn in, set down. I lost my balance because I realized I didn't do that with the first time I showed you this. So coming through, let's do that correctly. Open, step, press. Weight onto, set into the front hip, Turn, set the heel down, walk through. Open, press, lift, set. Relax the hips, keep the body upright. From here, come through Left hand comes around as we step forward. Yin Yang fish. Extending into the palms. Step around the circle. The footwork as we turn around is the same. Still outside foot. But press into that back hand. Drop the other hand. As we step onto the circle line, we're here and we step through with a spearing palm with the inside arm. Set into the front hip and walk. Step, turn, 
spear. Other side. Turn. Set. Spear. From here, the turnaround stays the same. To get into spearing heaven and earth, one hand up, getting it so the shoulder is set down, other arm on the outside of the leg, requiring you to turn through the torso. For this one, the change is a liao. Sweep past the knees and cut up. Other hand is down, protecting the groin. The lower hand from here will come through with a spear. And spearing heaven and earth on the other side. Outside foot turns in. Sweep the hand across and slicing up a liao. From here, catch with the outside of the wrists, step through, eagle posture, open across the shoulders, uh, turning the wrists or turning through the forearms, pressing the palms, setting the shoulder blades down. Step in, cross the wrists, open here. Catch with the hands, pull down with the wrists. Step through. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. From here, still catch, lion posture. Arms are rounded. It's like carrying a giant ball in front of us. Here's where the footwork changes after we do the standard step out. This is a vertical circle with the arms coming straight overhead. Step in, step out, come through. On this side, same thing from here. Step in, bring the hands past the knees this posture. Continue the circle vertically as we step and face outside of the circle. The other foot steps back along the circle line and through. And again from here, I'll start at a different place. Step in Sweep the arms, one, keep the circle going, two, three, step through. And on the other side, same thing, catch, roll. Presenting the spear here, similar except that the fingers are pointing downwards. The arms are more twisted, stepping around. Circle the hands, step out. Now we're doing a circle, but it's a horizontal circle rather than a vertical one. Step in and step out. Come through, presenting the spear on the other side. Outside foot steps in, circle the fingers so they come around 
and catch. Step. Step through. One more time on both sides. Catch and step out. Step in, step out. Other side, same thing. One, two, three. The last posture, dragon posture. As we step the outside foot in, upper arm, forearm cuts across. As we step out, both hands shove. We then open the foot, the lower hand, palm face up, drills under the other armpit. Turn to face outside of the circle. As we turn back, use that rotation to turn the leg and face into the circle. One more time on both sides. Catch, press, open the foot, turn, look over the shoulder. Raise the arms to brace and catch, pull to the side, turn the leg. Once more, one, two, three, Those are the eight postures from here, pressing down, double hands pressing down or bear, to here, crab, or embracing the moon. From embracing the moon, we come to yin yang fish. From yin yang fish, we come to spearing heaven and earth. Yin yang fish, the outside arm comes across, the other hand is behind. So the outside arm is the upper arm. Spearing heaven and earth, both wrists are rotated. Inside arm is the upper arm. From there, we come into the eagle posture, open across the shoulders, set the shoulders down. So instead of this, it's exactly the opposite. From there, it's a rounded posture with the bear. You want the connection across the shoulders to the elbows, to the wrists, through to here. From there, it's that same connection, but turned. So there's a rotation. This elbow is set in, this elbow is set back for presenting the spear. After presenting the spear, we get the dragon posture. Within each one of those, there's um, techniques, uh, which are ways of moving and applying force. So they're not quite applications. They're treating, uh, getting us set for different kinds of things that can be applied uh, in various means for various types of attack and defense. From through to here, through to here. Of course, spearing, catching, etc., etc. With um, the lion posture uh, application or techniques, and with presenting the spear, the main thing to keep in mind with the footwork is from here, there's the turn that happens. The sp uh, I hesitate to call it the spin, but it comes through and step out. Don't think of that with the footwork as stepping around. We're here, catch. For the footwork from here that takes the circle vertically, think of bringing the outside foot not around, but bring the foot to the other foot, step in, step out, as opposed to step around or step around. Stepping around takes too much time. If you bring it so that this foot comes straight to the other foot, then uh, you'll have the right speed and accuracy required. If you come through the other way and try and step it thinking, oh, I have to step around, and I have to step around. The uh, 
point at which you rotate is not going to be uh, precise enough and the circle will be difficult to do. So for this move and or this move, the vertical circle or the horizontal circle, with both of those, there is the setup here. And then keeping the arms attached to the body, pay attention to the footwork so that you get the proper stepping and body positioning. Very good. Thank you for joining me with this class. We'll see you next time. We'll close the class.